I'm Anil Kumar and now let us explore tangent ratios in right triangle. The question is, in each triangle name the opposite side and adjacent side to the given angle. Explain how you can find the measurement of this angle. So we have two parts to this question and we have two different triangles to work with. So these are the two different triangles. Both are right triangles as you can see. Now the first one is triangle ABC where we are given angle A. With respect to angle A, we need to find opposite side and the adjacent side. Now if you see from angle A, then the side opposite is this side. So that is the opposite side to angle A. Adjacent side is the side which is between the angle and 90 degrees. So this is called the adjacent side. Correct. So that is the first part. Now let's look into the second triangle also and find opposite and adjacent side. You can pause the video, answer the question and then match with my solution. So we are looking into angle R, right? That's the angle we are interested in. So side opposite will be right across. So that side, which is equivalent to 4, is opposite side, correct? And the adjacent side is the side between the angle and right angle. So that is the adjacent side. I hope that is clear. Adjacent side is always the side which is along with the 90 degrees in a right triangle. So, so you clearly, I hope that is absolutely clear for you. So first step is we are writing opposite side is equals to 1 here and adjacent side is equal to square root of 3. In this particular case, opposite side is equals to 4 and adjacent side is equals to 3, correct? So that is the answer to first part for both these questions. <clears throat> part B is explain how you can find the measurement of this angle. That means the angle A. So now the question is what is measurement of angle A equal to, right? So what is measurement of angle R equals? That is your question. Now we just learned what is tan ratio. So what is tan theta in general? Let me write down here in the center. Any angle theta is actually equal to opposite over adjacent. So that is tan theta, right? To find the angle, what do we do? We find inverse of this, right? So we'll see how to use calculator, find inverse and get the answer, correct? So tan theta or the tan ratio for the given angle is opposite over adjacent. It's the ratio of these two sides. So let's find what is tan A. So for the first part, tan A is equals to ratio of opposite side over adjacent, right? Opposite side is oh, 1, I'm sorry. 1 is your opposite side. Adjacent is square root 3. So opposite is 1. So we'll write 1 over square root of 3. So that is tan A. Now the question is, how do you find A, the angle, from tan A equals to 1 over square root 3? Now you can use calculator and find inverse of that. So angle A, I should say measurement of angle A is equals to tan inverse of 1 over square root 3, right? So that is how you find. So let's use the calculator. Shift second function. Is, then you get tan inverse as you can see here, right? Within brackets write 1 divided by square root 3 Then you close the brackets, right? And then say equal to 30 degrees. So I've set my calculator to degrees. So the answer is in degrees. It is 30 degrees So now I know that the angle A is 30 degrees. That is how you can find the angle in a triangle in this particular case, a right triangle using tan ratio. Correct? I'd like you to pause the video, answer the next one yourself. Here is my solution. So in this case, tan of R should be equal to how much? Opposite side is 4. So it is opposite over adjacent. Is that okay? Opposite is 4, adjacent is 3. So look from R. Opposite to R is 4 and adjacent with the 90 degrees is 3. So 4 over 3. So you can find angle R 
is equals to we are doing measurement of angle r so some students write like this tan inverse of 4 over 3 correct again use your calculator find the answer so we have shift second operation normally in calculators tan inverse or inverse of any trigonometric ratio can be obtained by pressing shift and then the function so we get 53.13 right so let's round it to whole numbers let's round it to whole numbers and then write our answer as approximately equals to 53 degrees so I hope this helps you to understand how in a right triangle we can find tan ratio and also finding tan ratio helps to find the angle once you find one of the angles you can always find the other angle which will be 90 minus that angle correct so in that way you can solve the complete triangle I hope it really helps thank you and all the best